Hello, this is your teacher, Mr. Murphy. Now, of course, to review for the quiz, you might want to look at the last week's quiz. I know I said I'd do this on Saturday, but I've been sick, thanks to one of your friends. Uh, we'll see if I can make it through this or not. Find the mean, medium, mode, and range, and then turn me back on. Okay, mean. You add up. That's 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, 7, 8, uh, 12, 17. Then you divide by the number of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And hey, during my delirium yesterday, guess what I found? A calculator. Hee 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 hee. That doesn't work. Let's see if this one works. I found a couple of them, actually. Hey, this one works. Ooh. So 17 divided by 7. I get 22.43. Round to the hundredth. 2.43. Okay, median. The first thing we really should do is put them in a row so you don't forget. 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then it's the one that occurs in the middle. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 on this side, 3 on this side. So it's 2. The mode is the one that occurs the most. Well, hello. So it'd be one because it occurs three times more than the others. And the range is the biggest five minus the smallest fewer. Now I'm not saying this covers the whole quiz, but so go ahead, uh, t uh, freeze your video, do these six problems. This last one is less than seven, by the way, less than seven, less than seven. Go ahead and do them. Okay, so, greater than 3. We, well, anything greater than 3 is already greater than, said that wrong, anything greater than 7 is automatically greater than 3, so good. Here, it's or, wherever they're shading. So, 3, we, greater than 7, we. No. And, so here we got anything greater than 3. Whoa! Then we got less than 7. Whoa! So it's audios, audios. Here, uh, here's greater uh, than 3 and greater than 7. Has to be true for both. Where is their shading on both? Where does the shading overlap? Oops, that's a 7. Sorry about that. I don't think I'm going to make it. So, it has to be on top of each other. So, um, give me a second here. My eye is watering. My nose is running. My eyes watering. I just want a five-day vacation. Here we go. So, uh, there we go. Here, on top of each other. True for both. So, for an and, it's always the shorter one when it's going in the same direction. Now this one, here's less than 3, we, here's greater than 7. <laughs> so what's true for both? Where do I see shading on, you like math, shading on both, shading on both, on top of each other. No, there's nothing, there's no shading here, there's no shading here. So there's nothing that causes both to be true. So it's no reals, no shading. And then the last one, which was kind of covered up. Here's greater than three. We Here's less than seven. <laughs> Where's it on both? Right in here. So that is our answer. Now, solving. If there's a variable inside of the absolute value, you got to break it up into two parts. So if I was said, what's the absolute value negative 7? You'd say, oh my goodness, it's 7. 
But since this has a term and an inequality involved, you got to break it up into two parts. So 2x minus 4 is less than 12 and the opposite. Uh, so I'm going to add 4, divide by 2. Here I'm going to take the opposite. Oops, am I on the screen? Yep, I am. You know, wasn't that nice in Michigan State knowing I'm sick and didn't feel good and lost in that fashion to make me feel better? That was just so sweet of them. Ha <laughs> ha Divide by negative 2. So I want all the numbers between 8 and negative 4. It's an and because it's less than. So the graph would be between negative 4 and 8. We Okay, this one. What did I say you should do? What did I say you should do? When you got stuff outside the absolute value. Get the absolute value by itself. Yes. So I'm going to subtract 6. I hope my voice is picking up because that's the best I can do. Then divide every negative 3. So you thought it was or at the beginning, but it's not. Because when you divide by negative, it switches the inequality, making it an and. So, um, let's see. You get x plus 1 is less than 5. And the opposite. Now I'm going to skip a step by distributing the negative. Yes, I am. So I'm going to subtract 1, then here I'm adding 1, take the opposite, so it's everything between negative 6, 4. Whee! Okay, let's flip her over. Now this should be a lot faster. Find the slope. X equals the number is a vertical line whose slope is always undefined. Yes. Oh, zero. Oh, that's a good song there. Zero. And then this one is change in Y. So that would be this over change in X. So it'd be negative three over two. Ooh. Find three ordered pairs. Okay, I'm going to start. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Here's your problems. Do them and then turn me back on. Yes, sorry about that. I got a little excited. I'm going to finish it up. All that matters is y is 6. We also know it's a horizontal line because it's y equals a number. So, here we go. Uh, 2, 6, 7, 6, 24 billion 6. Or 9, 6. This one, all that matters is y is twice x. So if x is 3, twice that is 6. Uh, if x is 2, twice that's 4. 1, 2. Now this one, pluggy chuggy. Now I'm going to do my zeros. I like zeros. Put in 0 here, x is 6. Hey, if one of them 0, that means you're on an axis. You got to intercept, x intercept in this case. Put 0 in here, 2 times 3 is 6, so that'd be 0, 3. Then let's put in, uh, oh, I don't know, 1 for y. So this would be 2 times 1 is 2, subtract 2, y, x would be 4. Now you can show more work if you want to, if you're having a little trouble, but it's just pluggy chuggy. That's all it is as my eye is draining. Ew. Who gave me this? Maybe I should give like 5,000 extra credit points if someone discovers who it is. Oh. Now on a test, I like to do this. X intercept. Y intercept. So I uh, put 0 in for Y to find the X intercept. So that's 6 or the point six zero, Because Y is 0. And then put 0 in for that, divide by negative 3, so that would be negative 2 or 0, negative 2. 
Now, if I said graph it, oh, I got sneeze. If I said graph it, you would put a dot at 6, 0, dot at 0, negative 2, down, connect it. So this one, x-intercept, y-intercept. So put 0 in for y to find the x-intercept. So you'd have 0 equals 2x minus 3. Add 3. Divide by 2. Even my teeth hurt you, turkey, giving me this. I hope you're happy. See? The universe made Nimbus you lose because you made me sick. Y-intercept, put 0 in. Oh, notice it's negative 3. Or if you want to do the point 3 halves 0 or 0, negative 3. Now again, to graph it, you would just plot the two points and connect them. Okay, so I do plan to make a video about graphing with slope. I'll try to get it done before noon or sooner. I'll see you. Have a good day. Hey, just remember Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.